Kevin Matchstick, uh, uh, is late for work one day because he's had uh, uh, this experience, and he ends up uh, uh, run over by a train. I think it's in Philadelphia, and he meets uh, 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 Mirth, who's a dude with floppy hair and a big poncho. And uh, Mirth starts like hinting into him about like what his big purpose is. And then he meets uh, Sean Knight next. Edsel's last. He meets Sean Knight, who's a public defender in uh, the police station, because he also meets uh, Rashawn and um, Gregory. Rashawn and Gregory are also in the jail with him. Um, and uh, they are summoning up uh, the uh, gross bonage, the, 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 the big bad blood. Um, and... Uh, uh, Kevin gets out because Sean Knight gets him out of jail, and he meets uh, Edsel, who is a teenage girl uh, of mixed ancestry, let's, let, we'll say African American for the sake of argument, and uh, um, she drives with Edsel, hence the name, and carries a bat, and um, uh, well fuck it, it turns out uh, he's King Arthur. Uh, let's just cut to the end. Uh, he's King Arthur. Edsel's been carrying around Excalibur this whole time. Sean Knight's been dead. Oh, by the way, he's a ghost. He didn't know. Uh, 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 Gregory leaves. Gregory, poor bastard, takes off. Uh, 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 and the other dude uh, has a staple gun, which is full of evil. And um, he is uh, the agent of the uh, Umber Sprite. The Umber Sprite is... Uh, 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 Matt Wagner's shadow in, in Jungian terms in 88, 89. He's smoking a lot of weed. He's sitting around in a big tower doing evil shit. And so, like, Kevin Matchstick, now fuck you guys. This is on. Uh, like, I, I spent a lot of time on this. Like, uh, uh, there are five grackle sprints. No, no, this is in the book. There, there's five. Uh, uh, um, the, 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 the Greco Sprints are the ones who, like, uh, are fucking with Kevin the whole time. And they are uh, 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 Emil and Laszlo. Oh, fuck, I had them all two days ago. Emil, Laszlo, um, Stannis, and fuck you guys. Um, and they each represent one of Kevin's fears. So that, like, when Kevin overcomes his fear of heights, the, 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 the Greco Flint who can fly dies. When uh, um, uh, Kevin overcomes his fear of crowds, the one who could change into any person dies. The, the whole thing is this like um, a very, very much uh, overt Jungian, Campbellian uh, uh, mythological thing where like uh, Kevin Matchstick, who is this avatar for, for Matt Wagner, is gradually overcoming each of his fears one by one. Um, one survives, and that's a mage too, and that's a whole other thing. But uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the Umber Sprite is his shadow in Jungian terms. And uh, uh, Kevin climbs to the top of the, uh, the Styx Casino, which is the bottom of the Styx Casino because it's a whole big thing, just read it. <laughs> and uh, he fights him, and there's the Huntsman, and there's this whole thing about guilt. But ultimately, it's, it's this confrontation between Kevin and the Umber Sprite. Where the Umber Sprite has already been bashed in the back of the head by Emil, um, who is the 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 grackle foot of initiative. Initiative is the one thing that he doesn't have because this is why Mage, each of the chapters is a quote from Hamlet because what Kevin Mastic lacks is initiative. Um, uh, Emil is the the grackle foot of initiative. Hamlet can't do anything. Um, Kevin can't do anything until forced. Uh, 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 Sean, the ghost, is dissipated. Edsel uh, is killed. Uh, he's forced by circumstance to take up action, to take up arms against the Sea of Troubles, uh, because he can't do it on his own. Um, but by the time he gets there, someone else has already done the, the business. And, like, uh, bashing the back of uh, the Ember Sprite's head with a big planter. Uh, he takes off and becomes a big bad for Mage 2, which is awesome, but a whole other thing. Um, uh, meanwhile, uh, Kevin takes up the bat from Edsel, who's dead by this point, which is very sad. And, uh, uh, he ends up jumping out of the side of the, 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 the Six Casino, hooks up with Mirth, who, by the way, oh, hey, he's not dead. 
and they get in a, 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 a car, which is probably the Ezel. Yeah, it's Ezel. Uh, and, and they go off on adventures to meet Joe Matt and uh, Bernie Moreau and other people in the second book. Uh, but that's a whole other matter. Um, yay, Mage. 